Good evening, Internet. I guess this is a video that necessarily doesn't need to be... Hi, glasses. Bye, glasses. That doesn't necessarily need to be made, but at the same time, I feel like I should. Um, so many people are defending Logan Paul in the situation, and I can understand why. Fans, whatnot, they don't necessarily see what he does is the worst thing on the planet, and in theory, no. It's not the worst thing, because he is bringing awareness to suicide. He's talked about it. He really try to give his best effort in theory but it's just what people are so mad about is the fact that it was an edited video that he decided to show a dead body and show someone who in their last the last possible image of them was them hanging from a tree that's not dignifying that's not respectful not even in the slightest and there's, I was watching a Now This video on Facebook, and the comments in below it were just ridiculous. Like, saying, he's a dead body, he gave up, he, not a dead man, he's a dead man, he gave up all his rights when he died. No, you still have a right to privacy. You. That's why you can choose in your will if you want to have an open casket, closed casket, do whatever. You should still have a right to privacy when you die, you should have dignified be dignified in your death that's a culture thing that's a respect thing that's a human decency thing and other people are like he's still trying to defend the whole situation by saying he still gave awareness to suicide he gave awareness to all this stuff and yeah he did but he got done in a lot better fashion um boogie made a good video on it i'll link that below and that'll be the first link and in in that like, suicide is a hard topic to talk about. It gets demonetized as soon as it's mentioned on YouTube. We all have, I don't know, I'm not saying we all have a story, but a lot of people have a story of their thought process behind it, of a friend, of a family member who has, well, I done it. it it's not, an, not a light subject. It causes a lot of emotion and a lot of trauma for many people. So, there's, like, the people defending him, I don't think they're really thinking before they type, necessarily. I'm not saying I'm not guilty of that. I am. There are definitely things I don't think through before I type or before I speak or before I make a video. But there are some things you should think through a lot more than others. And you can definitely tell this was more of an attention grab than just a suicidal awareness video. If, like even a Kigahara, I think that's actually how you pronounce it, if they have set rules and regulations, I, I don't think they're written anywhere, but they're definitely something you should follow is that if you come across a dead body or someone who is in the process, then you need to immediately turn off your camera equipment because you're, you are allowed to record in there. You are allowed to make videos. But you should turn everything off out of respect for that person, out of respect for their culture, out of just basic human decency. You should shut off the camera, call the police, help them if you still can. But in this situation, no. He put it he put the person in his thumbnail. Like I said, I don't even think I'm not even hundred percent sure if this was faked or not. I wanna vote it was knowing the Paul brothers. They're not exactly known for being real. And it's just sitting here like what actually was going through their minds in the situation? Like, yeah, different people react differently. Different people might laugh in a morbid situation, might laugh, and, like, I'm one of those people, I will laugh when I'm uncomfortable, but if it's a true situation similar to this, no. I believe I would be dead quiet. I would have a blank stare. Whatever. Everyone's different. But just that one chick that was snickering in the background, like, it wasn't just the snickering or the laughter it was her holding it back that kind of gave some of it away they didn't take it as seriously as they could have 
And on the culture thing, it's a completely different culture in Japan. Death is sacred over there. Death is sacred in most cultures. We've, a lot of it's kind of been tr sadly trivialized because of modern events or because of movies or TV shows like 13 Reasons Why or something like that. It's not taken as seriously as it probably should and not not given the respect cuz like i said you you should have dignity in death you tor if someone is in torture and agony which someone who commits suicide is their last moment should be dignified even then their whoever stumbles upon them should give them respect give them their dignity back and it's something that Logan Paul did not do. I don't know. There, there's just a lot about this situation that just boggles my mind on, one, why he even made the video. Because it's not just the fact that he recorded it. If it would have been a live stream, I have a feeling this outrage would be completely different. We wouldn't necessarily care as much. It's the fact of he edited it a specific way. He put in music to draw on that emotion he angled the camera right he centered it on the person he did so much to go basically out of his way to make that person the center of his video and he could have maybe just not had that and just talked about it off camera in editing deleted the footage or not even put it in the vlog and then talk about it saying we found a dead body in the forest while we were exploring and it sucks but suicide's not the answer suicide should not ever be the answer you have loved ones you have family members you have friends you have your pets you have so much depending on you you have so much to live for and it gets it's gonna get harder before it gets easier but life is worth living it's not something that should be so easily thrown away and not everyone's gonna get that not everyone's gonna have that in their mind especially with some things that people go through and different people are affected differently by these thoughts different people have a different mindset with these thoughts some of them could be for completely what we see as trivial reasons, but inside is just absolute inner turmoil. It's completely them not understanding necessarily who they are, where they are in the world, if they're ever going to be successful in life. Whatever your definition of successful is. Whether that's money, whether that's love, whether that's happiness whether that's how many objects you have, whether that's how many friends you have. No matter what it is, we don't know what their headset mindset is. Most people will not necessarily tell anyone. They might leave a note. They might call a friend beforehand. They might, and it's usually one friend who they've known their whole life or given all their trust to. But most of the time, it's because of that inner turmoil. They don't think they have anyone. They don't think they're worth anything. But you are. You're worth so much more than you think you are. You are worth it. You are worth keeping alive. We have so much in terms of how to help people. There's the suicide hotline. There's therapy. There's your friends. There's your family. There's a puppy, a kit. Get something, get someone to help you through the process of living, of making a life for yourself, of getting to that happy place that you're always searching for. Do it for yourself, do it for your loved ones. All right? Just bring yourself into it. Bring yourself to live. Bring yourself to survive, but most importantly, 
bring yourself to be yourself without worry, without strife. Make it to where you in yourself make something amazing come. It's hard. It really is. But it's there for you. We're here for you. Find a stranger. Sometimes you don't need a friend. Sometimes you don't need a family member. Sometimes you need a stranger on the bus. Sometimes you need the homeless person across the street uh, or on the highway and see how they're still living. They're still surviving. And even on their sign, even if you don't believe, it's they still say, God bless. They still say, thank you. Even if you don't give them anything, they like some... In, if someone who has nothing is willing to survive, willing to live, willing to be in that happy place, you should too. I'm not saying this to condemn where you're at. I've been there, believe it or not. It's, I, I have some stories that I could share. But we, many people have had those thoughts. Many people have been in that place. Maybe not to the same extent as you, maybe more, maybe less. But there are many people that have been there that can help you and that have found a reason to keep going. Find your reason, all right? And now, that's, <laughs> wow. It's something I wish, I don't think Logan went in that deep. I don't, yeah, it's, it's hard. I don't think he's ever been in that place to understand it. I don't think he's understands the magnitude of the situation. Neither do a lot of his fans. Because, like I said, there's still people that are supporting him in this. It's, it's insane. And... Another thing, too, is just because you're a vlogger doesn't give you an excuse to do something stupid. Doesn't give you an excuse to do something outright disrespectful. You you should have that basic common knowledge, human decency, anything. Alright? Do something with more dignifying respect. Bring yourself up to help people, not to put them down. And this, seriously, this video helps trivialize suicide. Even if you had the best intentions, even if you wanted to help people. The video in itself with showing, like I said, possibly that last image of that person. It trivializes it. It makes a mockery. Turns it into something to make money off of. To gain attention. And that's not what it should be. That's not what it ever should be. Suicide is not something to trivialize. Alright. Logan, I hope you watch this. And glad my mind was a little more calm and collected in this. Last night I was a little peeved at the, at the situation. Not just the lack of respect for the culture. The lack of respect for the deceased. Or... Like I said, trivializing suicide. You need to think before you do. Not everyone does. We all make mistakes. Learn from this one. Listen to the people who are criticizing you. We want to see you be better, especially like for smaller YouTubers. You are the face of YouTube. And I know this is something stupid. This is something basically completely unrelated. But being the face of YouTube can hurt so many people with each mistake you make. Like that freaking rager you threw that upset your neighbors that had the cops called on you. Or getting people in serious harm's way at VidCon. Or just about, I can probably name off a few other things. Not off the top of my head, but I could look them up. Or like when PewDiePie said the N-word or had the the Fiverr thing. Same thing. 
you could cause more harm towards the rest of the platform. Put people in situations where they're not ready to be in because maybe they just started making money to be able to live off of YouTube doing something they love. And losing that could send people to this dark place. And you never know. I wouldn't want it to. I'd hope people would find a way to make ends meet elsewhere, but it's hard. It's not always easy to find another job, especially when a lot of people don't consider YouTube a job. So think before you do. Make your apologies seem more sincere. That apology just, it, it felt like a, some PR team wrote it. Not you, not from your heart. Some PR team who needed to cover up the situation. So, kind of think about it. Think about what you're doing. Think about who you impact. Think about how your actions affect so many other people. You're always going to have that Logan, Nader, whatever the hell you call them, army that are always going to support you no matter what. And even they need to learn. They need to understand this. They need to understand that everything you do isn't always the best thing. They need to learn to criticize you in your bad moments and glorify you in your good moments. You shouldn't be some god. You should be just another human being who makes mistakes. And each, and like I said, this is, these people that are making videos about you are criticizing you, wanting you to get better, not worse, wanting you to think about what you're doing. So think about that for a minute, all right? So let me know what you guys think. Try and be respectful down in the comments. So if you feel like talking, let me know, all right? I'll be here for you. Until next time, thank you guys so much. And you can click to watch the previous one here. Um, a tribute I made to um, a th my sister-in-law's friend who committed suicide a couple years ago. And a video on... Um, it was a school project of simulating a soldier's PTSD attack. These are something to kind of maybe look into that headspace to try and understand things. Just a lot of things happen in life. You got to learn to live with it. You got to learn to survive. You got to learn to move past it. Good luck. And again, let me know if you need a talk.